Would you sit down, please, gentlemen? <laughs> Mr. President, as we complete our talks, I wish to express my appreciation to you for your frankness and candor in discussing the problems that we mutually face in Vietnam. And I know that uh, you share with me uh, the sentiments that were expressed in our communique, which has already been distributed to members of the press. Uh, I believe that that communique uh, indicates the progress that has been made and the progress we can expect in the future toward a resolution of this struggle, which has uh, torn apart the people of North Vietnam, uh, which has cost your people so much in men, in lives, and has cost our people as well. And I would like to say, finally, this one personal word. Uh, you have a long journey. Uh, you will be back in Saigon tonight uh, because of the time change. Uh, you will be speaking to the people of South Vietnam uh, when you arrive. And would you extend to the people of South Vietnam, from the people of the United States, our good wishes? Uh, we know how they have suffered. Uh, we share with them uh, the tragedy of war. Uh, we want for them what we have for ourselves, uh, the blessings of peace uh, within our own country and within your own country. Mr. President, I thank you very much for your very comfortable words. Uh, I can say that the, our first meeting here in Midway uh, is a very useful. And uh, uh, it's not like uh, some speculation before I arrive here, that there is some difference between President Nixon and President Hill, and I have to come here to uh, to dissipate or to uh, discuss again on those differences. It's not true. Uh, I come here for more understanding and closer cooperation, uh, for more common position between President Nixon and I. It's uh, not for difference, because we have uh, had no difference before. Uh, you may mention about the eight-point program of President Nixon for peace, uh, I ask you to remember that uh, immediately after the President Nixon have uh, his uh, speech, uh, I said that it's uh, consistent with the position of Vietnam, it's very consistent of my uh, sixth point. So uh, we have a close uh, consultation before and uh, we have a very close uh, understanding on, on that. So I come here uh, to discuss with President Nixon uh, to have uh, better cooperation and uh, to have a better command position. Uh, I think uh, in the future, when the circumstances demand and when we have an uh, uh, opportunity, we may agree together to meet again. So I think uh, it's the best way to have uh, closer cooperation between two governments and uh, two people. Never forget that the, the blood and the human life are precious to anyone, to any people, at any time. So I think uh, once again we are very grateful and the Vietnamese people, the whole Vietnamese people is very grateful uh, for the sacrifice that the United States people uh, have accepted and continue to accept it, uh, to join us in defense of freedom uh, and defend uh, the common cause of the free world. But, one again, I say that we will do our best, our best from now on to alleviate the burden of the uh, American people. And uh, we have to do our best to deserve the noble sacrifice that the American people have accepted uh, for Vietnamese people. And once again, I hope uh, you understand well my English and I... Uh, I'm ready to leave for Saigon, and uh, I sincerely thank uh, President Nixon for the uh, useful talks, for the uh, heartfelt welcome, the hospitality of uh, 
the uh, people in Midway Island. It's the first time I know this island, very interesting. And uh, I think that uh, you may join us to share the uh, success of this uh, meeting. Thank you.